Hello everybody, welcome to Battery Evo. Today, we're gonna do an introduction video for the Walrus. The Walrus is an all-in-one battery backup with built-in inverter. To start off, we're just gonna go talk about the specs. We're gonna talk about what we did on the side panel here to show you guys all the connections that we did. We'll talk about the display ports over here on the front, and we'll even show you how to connect it up to an electrical panel and sub panel to power your entire home. The Walrus is all in one. So we did combine a 13 kilowatt hour battery with an eight kilowatt inverter all together. To make it even better, we even installed some outlet ports here in the front. So in case of a power emergency or you needed to use this as a portable generator, you could just plug any appliance directly into either one of these uh, 110 or 220 volt outlets. Also, we already included the MPPT for solar charging, so you could easily hook this up to your solar panels and it could be charging all day and discharge the battery in the nighttime. We wanna go over all the features on this battery, so we'll go one by one. We have our main display here, and the main display was designed to be able to show you the battery's capacity, the voltage, charging, and what mode you're in. So whether you have it charging through solar, or whether you're charging it with your grid power, it will show you that all on the display. Another good thing about the display is that we did set it up so that you could set different alarms and times. So whether you want to charge it or discharge it, you can set the times you want it to charge and when you want it to discharge. Or in the daytime or in the morning time when you have low cost, you could be charging your walrus. And in the nighttime when you're home powering your devices, you could have all the energy from the battery being discharged so you can effectively lower your energy bills. Another thing that you could do on here is that you can set the voltages from 100 or 110 volts and you could even set the charging capacities up to 50 amps it's all it's all done through this display here and then you can see you got a couple different options here you got our system configuration screen here uh, you could see what modes we're using you could see that you could set the timers you could see that we got the ups system here your amps basically all the basic specs you would need for a battery pack here we have our, syst our inverter's output voltage, so you can set it to 100 volts, uh, 110 volts, 120 volts, 105 and 115 volts. Then you could also see that we're in our inverter output frequency, which could either be 60 hertz or 50 hertz. We have our AC charging current, so you can get it all the way up to 50 amps, but you do get the options of either off, 15, 25, 35, or 50 amps. Now here, you're gonna be able to set your solar's charging current. Same thing, you're gonna get a couple different uh, options, whether it's off, 30 amps, 10 amps, 60, 80, 120, 160, 200, and 240 amps. Now we can move. Here you can set the AC input range. The UPS is currently showing 160 volt to 260 volt and the inverter 130 volt to 280 volt. Right now we have the priority status. So we do have this set to AC because we have the AC electrical system built in here at Battery Evo. But if you want it to be solar, you could do that here. And then we even got the AC time control all in this display here. On the priority status here on the AC time control, this is where you're gonna be able to set when you want the battery to charge or discharge, right? This is super important, especially for some of you in areas where the electricity could get very costly. You wanna set this to charge on your lowest rate. So whenever, whenever the rate is lowest for you in your area, that's when you want this to charge. And then whenever the rates are highest, that's when you're gonna to wanna to set it to discharge. This is gonna be super, super, super good for all you users who are trying to save on your electricity. These are the basic, console settings on the Walrus. I'm gonna turn this over and we could take a look at all the connections we added to the Walrus. So we included just about everything you might need to be able to install this. Starting off with our AC in port here, which is an SS2-50P port. This is the one that you're gonna use to be able to connect your home's AC grid power straight into the Walrus. So when you wanna charge this, it'll get the electricity straight from your home. So similar to our AC in port, we got an AC out port here that uses a NEMA 21-15R port. This is the one that you're gonna to use to connect back to your sub panel. This is how you're gonna get the battery's power out of the walrus. Another great plug and play feature that we created here is our 
90 volt to 230 volt PV input here. So this is gonna be the cable you're gonna to use to connect straight to your solar panels. This is the best way to be able to get solar charge straight into this walrus pack. It's super easy to install and this is gonna be the cable that does come included with the walrus. We also have on the other side, it's a similar type input here, but this is gonna be the one that you could either connect to a charger or you could actually use this to connect to other battery packs to get even more capacity out of this walrus. We also added some network communication ports here and a Wi-Fi antenna here to be able to connect to your home's network to be able to track whatever's going on on this battery. And you're gonna be able to observe that on the Battery Evo app. This is all the features that we created on the side panel of the walrus to make it plug and play, easy to use, you're not gonna have to do any crazy wiring with this. It's all just included right here. And we put it on wheels. The reason for that is that we did want to make sure that this battery pack could be used portably in case you didn't wanna use it as a home battery backup and you wanted to maybe use it as a replacement to a gas or diesel generator. You could take this thing just about anywhere. It'll roll pretty easy. Even if it's in a garage or storage, you could just move it to wherever you wanted to go. It avoids the need to have to uh, mount it on your wall. So not needing to mount it on your wall, as some of you electricians might know, you wouldn't need to have extra permitting to be able to mount this walrus or use it in your home. So that's gonna be the basic specifications for this walrus battery. Now on top of that, we did wanna show you how it works and how it's gonna work in your home. So we did have a walrus installed already here at the office. Now this main electrical panel is what you're gonna find in your home. Every home should have this already installed. To be able to get the power from your home's electrical power into the walrus, you're going to need an SS250 tape. Now this is going to be included with the Walrus when you buy one. This is going to go directly from your electrical panel straight into the AC input here. And that's how you're going to be able to get your home's power straight into this Walrus. This is only if you're going to be in, uh, using it to charge it using your home's power. This does not include solar power. Solar power does get transferred into the battery using the PV input here. So as you can see right now, you can see this charge light blinking. That's because we're getting the power from our main grid currently right now, and it's coming through. And you can see with this little icon here that it's connected to grid power. When you connect it to solar, it will display solar instead. If you're not connected to AC, uh, if you're not connected to your home's main power, this one will go off. So it'll kind of let you know what's going on with the power. I should turn it off so you can see it. So you can see it just disappeared. So now you have no power coming into the walrus, but you can still be getting the power out of this walrus. On top of that, we also have the battery status. So you can see how much battery you have, how much voltage and how much capacity you still have. Now, when you're gonna want to get the power out of the walrus, you're gonna use a similar, the same type of cable, but it's gonna go from the output straight into this sub panel that we installed here. Now, most homes probably won't have this from the beginning, but you can easily install a sub panel to your home. Uh, this is gonna be really helpful for people who are off grid or when you want to power certain sections of your home. Now it's the same type of cable. It goes from the AC out port into the sub panels import here. This gets directly from the battery's power straight back into your home. And we simulated a home here at Batter Evo. What we did is we simulated what it would be like to use the walrus in a three bedroom, one bathroom home. You can see all the lights are currently connected. And what we have over here is all the basic necessities you'd have in your home. Starting with a fridge for your kitchen. This is all turned on and being powered currently. We have this fan here that's connected to what a bedroom would be. Everything is connected and turning and working. We have a microwave here a coffee maker. Um, we even have a computer desktop here connected to a home office, some lamps, all the lights of a bedroom and an AC unit up here. Now we're gonna be able to simulate a power outage here by turning off our electrical lines main grid power here. Once we do this, you're gonna be able to see how quickly the Walrus UPS system triggers in case of a power outage. So if we focus over here, I'm gonna turn this off and you can see it's seamless. It's so quick that even our desktop computer here didn't even flicker, didn't even turn off. So if you're using televisions, consoles, anything like that, they wouldn't even turn off. They wouldn't even reset, nothing like that. That just goes to show how great and advanced the UPS system is on this Walrus. Now to take a look on the inside of the Walrus, again, we wanted to make this thing super easy to use. 
So one of the things we did is made it super easy to be serviceable. So you can see inside everything is super neat and we designed this to be modular. So in case anything were to go wrong, you could easily just call us in here at Battery Evo and our technicians will help you verify the problem. And then when, you, when we figure out what the problems are, depending on whatever parts you might need, we can just easily mail you the parts you, can, you need. So most of you DIYers out there could easily just pull these parts out and put them back in. So it just removes the need to have to ship this battery pack back and forth. So this is the fire extinguisher here included with all the walrus and every other battery that we have here at Battery Evo. So it's perfectly positioned where in case anything were to go wrong, this is just gonna quickly inflate, it'll create a foam and it'll put out any fire that's going on in around this battery. So that was a quick overview on the Walrus. Just remember, this is an all-in-one unit combining a 13 kilowatt hour battery with an eight kilowatt inverter, built-in MPPT solar charging. Now this system, we invite you to grab one, install it in your home to start saving on utilities, protect yourself from power outages and emergencies. If you have any more questions, just go ahead and leave a comment, hit us up on our websites, come grab one, and thank you for watching.